Hey guys, welcome back to Lana's Closet. All right, so I feel a little weird holding the camera anyway. I mean, my phone while outside, but we gotta do what we gotta do. So this is a preparation video, as you can see in the title. And I'm on my way right now, so my lash is done. I literally just came off work. You know, it was a nice day. It's like, really nice day. These days gonna get cold, so. I'm trying to have a little nice fit. I don't have. So, this is New York City. People aren't gonna annoy you. They're just gonna like, no. <laughs> like, just ignore. But, I gotta make sure I'm going the right way. So, basically, like I was saying, I'm on my way to my lash appointment. And I had to pick a different lash tech than I usually go to because she was all booked out and I always prepare very late. I always do things and I'm rushing. And I'm just like, damn. But, you know, but me, I don't give up and I dead ass tried to find another lash tag. And what did I do? I found another lash tag on Instagram. Her name is Blink Bay. Blink Bay. So I'm going to put it like down here somewhere. You're going to see it. I meant to say but Mink yeah, Bay. Answer. But yeah, I'm on my way there, and we're going to see how this goes. I've been waiting for like a whole hour because I knew I was going to be early. And yeah, so let me just find this building real quick. So guys, as you can see, I just arrived and I'm waiting in the area to have to come get me. And it was in a building and it has like mad rooms in here. So it's pretty cute. Thank you. Yeah. So she had to wait because she's with another client. But it's going on like 20 minutes now. It's literally 5:20. It's very unprofessional, to be honest. Because I've been waiting for that long. I'm tired. I've been up since 6 o'clock in the morning, and I'm in Brooklyn. And I don't live in Brooklyn. So I just got it done. So cute, so cute, so cute. And then I came to this place called Donuts and Hot Dogs. And look, I got it. The hot dog. Ooh. I'm gonna try a little piece for y'all. And I'm gonna start walking because I'm in Brooklyn and I wanna go home. This is what it's called. I mean, this is how it looks. And this, it has potato around it. And inside has me, um, not the hot dog and the cheese. So I'm gonna try it now. Ooh, it's hot. Mmm. It's good. It's good. The top part has um, cheese and the bottom part has the hot dog. But I feel like it should just be in the mixture. It should just have the hot dog through the whole day with the cheese around it and then the bread. The breading. Doesn't it seem more better if it came out like that? Right? I'm in love with these lashes, I'm not gonna lie. They look at a bomb. Nah, let me go home. It's good though. Like, it's really good. Like, let me rate it. Out of a 10, it's like a 7 out of 10. It's not like the best, because it's not like, it's like really like, I need some sauce. Like, I don't know. I need sauce for this. Does it come with sauce? Let me ask. Bye bye. I'm gonna try the donut next time. The streets of New York City. The streets of New York City. I'm on the new train. And I know I'm from New York City, but I've never been on this train before, ever. So guys, it's Saturday and I'm right for the nail salon right here. And I'm out of going, so let's go. I just love getting my feet done. So there's massage, massage, my body, massage chair.
ashy toes. <laughs> but um, guys, I had to rush to the work after the nail salon, so I didn't get to show y'all my simple, simple, cute nails. Um, as you can see, I didn't really do too much this time. I just got them cute and simple because, like I said, it's a bougie on the budget video. Not bougie on the bougie, bougie on the budget, so I'm budgeting. Hey guys, it's Monday. Got the nails done on Saturday. And now, as you can see, I took out my braids. I'm about to get a washing set, trim, and blow out. And then I'm going to go to the app and get a little braiding hairstyle. I don't even really know yet, but we're going to figure it out together. Um, yeah, so let's get into it. I'm going right here, it's a perfect image. Tess, look. We're on the Ave, on our way to find someone to braid this head of mine. Cause I look crazy right now. Mind you, I gotta work at six o'clock, so I gotta hurry up a little bit. But yeah, we on the Ave. I come on the Ave for a lot of things. Y'all already know this. I come on the Ave to do mostly all my beauty essential things. Like, if anything, if you don't have nobody booked, you come to the Ave. So yeah, in Queens, Jamaica Ave. No, I just, I just don't like when it has like that little, you know, it has to be flat. Yeah, yeah, I wanna put it down. I'm in the Uber, and as you can see, this is the finishing touch. This is the finishing product. Finishing product. As you see, there's like four strands of hair coming out of my braids, my, my edges. I went to the Africans, so if you know, then you know that I don't want them touching my edges, so I told them just to leave it out, and I'm going to have my best friend Tash do them, because she does really good edges, but honestly, I just got straight backs, because I'm on a budget right now, so I just got straight backs, and yeah, I got no earrings, I'm looking like a whole boy, but they're neat, so that's good. Hey guys. So, right now I'm on the train. I, I just got off work. See my work fit? It's my work fit. See my work fit? Looking real dumb. Like, I forgot to put earrings on. My hair still looks fresh. I gotta fix the edges better. I'm on my way to Jamaica Avenue to see if I can find a place to get my eyebrows done. And I'm possibly to get them tinted as well because I really like the way my eyebrows look after I get them tinted. I have really thin eyebrows as you can see so they looking real trash right now and i look like a boy right now because i got no earrings in but my hair still looks fresh so that all that matters i don't know why i got bags i really got bags and i don't like that and they get more sleep but i be going everywhere you know me trying to get that bag trying to get to that bag for me but i gotta sleep more i look so cute Okay. Somebody needs to buy me a car because it truly stinks on this damn train. And I gotta talk about the trains. I didn't talk about the transportation, which I want to get home because honestly, transportation out in New York City sucks. ASS. And I need a car. Reached the Ave. Y'all yeah, are probably tired of me being on the Ave to do things, but the Ave is really my my go-to. I feel like I know a lot of places in the Ave we can get some hidden gems at, so I come to the Ave. It's a little crowded today. It's a little cold today too. 
But yeah, so right now we're gonna find a place I can do my eyebrows and my tints. If I can't find a place to do my tints, now I'm just gonna do the eyebrows. And it's so crowded on the ass. That's why I really hate being on the ass sometimes because people just bump me, don't say excuse me. Just a lot of disrespect on the ass. But like I said, I'll come on the ass because it's easy. I know the hidden gems and yeah, it's, it's really close to where I live too. So yeah, so we're gonna find somebody. And if you can't find nobody, then like I said, I'm just gonna get my eyebrows done and call it a day. I'm also gonna get a crochet tool so I can add curls to the bottom just to make it look a little different, just to make it look a little spicy. It's feeling real dead. My hair's feeling real plain, boring. It's not enough umps. You know me, I like to like switch it up, make it look cute, make it look, you know, girly, girly, you know, just make it look good. And I just don't like plain and basic. I don't do plain and basic. Let's check out this place. So this is how the place looks guys and there's nobody here but one of the ladies back there was like i should just wait somebody's gonna come so i found it right here eyebrow tinting so eyebrow tinting eyelash tinting eyelash lift eyebrows threading and tinting that should be 15 27 27 dollars <coughs> my work fit looks so boring but out of work i'm bad I'm bad. I'm bad. Okay. And that's all what and that's all period. 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 That's really so What if I had to go outside just like this? I would look so crazy. This is called eyebrow tinting, guys. I don't know if y'all know this, but my eyebrows are really thin and really skinny and barely have any. Like my eyebrows are literally thin, skinny, and just not it. So you know what I had to do? I had to come and go to an eyebrow place. And then I found out about getting your eyebrows tinted. So whenever I have a little extra money or whatever I'm going on a trip or just have a celebration, I like to do the extra and get my eyebrows tinted just so I can give a little bit pizzazz. Y'all know I like to... You know, I like to cook it up. You know, I like to stuff it up when it comes to beauty and looking good and looking your best, okay? I don't like looking half ass I don't want to half ass it. I want to look in tip-top shape. So, yeah, this is my last step of my get ready with me. The tinted eyebrows. And then I'm going to go to the beauty supply store and get a crochet tool so I can put the curls in this when I get home. Okay, guys, so I finished my tints. Ooh, look at my lashes. Look at, oh no, I'm bugging. Look at my eyebrows though. My eyebrows look on point. You see, I couldn't really do too much in this get ready with me. As I as I told y'all before, it's a bougie on a budget video, not a bougie on a bougie, it's a bougie on a budget. But look at my lashes, guys. I keep saying lashes. I mean, look at my eyebrows. They look so good. I'm ready to be outside. Oh. Okay guys, so I'm home. I literally just took a shower. I'm sitting on my floor because I'm about to put some curls in these braids, okay? Because this is, like I said, this is not, this is not, this is not given. It's not given. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this crochet tool and I'm going to put curls in this whole part here. Probably going to look like a curly ponytail, but it's not even going to be a curly ponytail. It's going to be braids, but it's going to look like it's a curly ponytail. Let's see if this looks good, because honestly, what if it looks bad? 
So I'm going to use these curls. It's called Free Tress Braid Crochet and Latch Hook Curls. So you use this to do this, to do the curls. So yeah, y'all gonna watch me. I'm gonna show y'all a few um, a few that I'm gonna do with y'all and I'm gonna just speed the, the process because I'm trying to get things moving because I got a lot to do and I'm always behind and I'm always But rushing. before I start, I wanted to show y'all my favorite snack. I don't know what's it called, but it's Korean rice ball. I guess it's Korean rice ball. So it's a salmon Korean rice ball. But I don't know why it's called a rice ball when it's a triangular shape. But yeah, it's my favorite snack. And yeah, like I'm gonna show you how it how to do it, how to eat it, and what's in it. It's obviously salmon is in it. But my favorite one is from Yaya in the city in Chinatown, I think it's called. And they have chicken and they have shrimp, but this one has just salmon. So yeah. So before I start adding the curls to this part of my hair, I'm gonna eat a little snack because I'm type hungry. So yeah, this is the rice ball salmon. So what you do is you unwrap it, take off the clear wrapper right and it just looks like this and then you see this line right in the middle you're gonna pull that down just like that all around okay now i don't know if you can see the pills on the side i'm gonna pull this out and it's like it's gonna keep the seaweed in the formation still so I'm going to pull it out just like that. Just like that. I'm literally doing this in my bedroom. I don't want to make a mess. So. And then you're going to lick it. You're going to lick it. And stick it. And it's going to stick just like that. And then you eat it. Mmm. That's how it looks. Salmon, rice. Seaweed! <laughs> Best snack ever. My little snack before I start my hair. And I know my best friend is about to hit me up in like 2.5. So I'm trying to hurry up. Because we talk every day. And we see each other like almost every day. So yeah. And you know, happy birthday tomorrow. That's why I'm doing this whole get ready with me, like duh. But you know I me, mean. I do like a get ready with me, like probably like twice every month, cause I'm always going somewhere. <laughs> like every time someone meets me, they're like, Lana, why don't you stay home? I hate home, nigga. I hate home. Love the bite. <clears throat> Trying to drop something. Make sure I don't make a mess. My mom hates me eating my room. My mom hates when I eat in the room. And then I'm gonna go to the other side. It's kind of like discomb discombobulated right now. Do the same thing. I'm gonna lick it. Put it together. Just like that. Okay, so good, so good. Yummy, yummy, so good, so good, so good. Yummy, yummy. Do y'all watch that TikTok? And they be like, yummy, yummy. Salmon, salmon. Yum, yum. That should be having me weak. All right, guys. Do I look crooked? You should see the way I have my phone set up. I'm looking crazy right now. But one thing for certain, one thing for one. Did I say that right? I don't know if I did. But y'all know I'm going to make it work. I'm going to make it work. I'm going to figure it out. I'm going to try my best. I do all that, everything for me. Like, we ain't, we ain't the type of, that type of girl over here. I'm chatting. All right, let's get started. So I took out the wrapper that it was in. And this is how it looks when I take it out. And I'm literally going to just break, a break apart one piece. And this might not look good. So if it's not looking good halfway through, I'm just going to stop and take it all out and just wear my hair like this. But I just want to give it some extra. <clears throat> uh, you think I can leave it like this? Or you think I should like split it? Let me see. Nope, that's doing too much. All right. I'm going to leave it like this. 
and then I'm going to stick it through. How do you do this? Hold on. Wait a minute. I'm doing this wrong. I got to put, I think I got to put the, sh the curl on this hook, on the hook, in the hook like that. So it needs to be in the hook like that. I think I was doing it all wrong. Just like that. See, in the hoop. Now, I think. Just put it through. Because I really had a vision. Okay, I'm gonna try to figure this out and I'm gonna come back and try to show y'all when I figure it out, how it goes and I record myself. But right now, it's pissing me off and I know I can do this. So give me a few seconds. As you can see, I figured it out and I did it. Yay! Doesn't it make the style a little bit more like, yes, yes. I can do it like this. I can style it like this. I can style it like this. I can style it like this. I love it. But I hope when I sleep that it doesn't get all nappy and stuff because that would just be like, damn, what was the point of doing all this work? But I just wanted to come on the camera and show you I did it. And I'm going to also show you like two curls. I'm going to do it in front of the camera so y'all can see how I did it. So if you're low on money and you don't want to go out there and spend like, what, $200? This was $130. Hair was included. And I add the curls myself. DIY. Do it yourself. These, these girls want to go out there and spend an arm and a leg. I don't got time for that. So I'm going to try to do it myself. And even if I can't do the whole style myself, I'm going to try to just do something small and see if I can hook it up, you know, with my own creativity. And I've always was a creative person. So I always felt like I'm going to fix it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it myself or I, I got this for me. So right now I'm going to add one here. Just I'm going to add another one even though I don't really need much more. I'm just going to add two so I can show y'all how to do it just in case y'all might want to hook up y'all braids as well just like I did. So I put it right through the braid, just like that. So I put the crochet right through the braid, just like that. As you can see, it's going straight through. And then you see a little hook right here. You see that hook right here? I literally put the curl on the hook, right? And I pull it like that. And I take the braid and pull it through, just like that. I take it out. And then I pull it. I pull on the curl. To push to pull it through the braid and there you go i'm gonna do it one more time and then i gotta wrap this up because i got things to do and today's a work day okay it's already eight o'clock i got things to do but yeah so if you want to style up your braids all you gotta do is be creative and try it try to do it yourself do it yourself okay i'm gonna put it on this one Get the hook once more, the crochet tool, put it right through the braid, just like that. See, just like that. Take the braid, I mean, take the curl and put it on the hook, just like that. Then pull it straight through. That's how you do it. Just like that. And pull it down. Make sure it's nice and neat. Just like that. And that's what you got. Now, you and now if you go back a good five minutes or six minutes, you're going to see that this is a big difference. But you're going to see this is a way dif bigger difference. And yeah. I love it. I love it. I love it. What do y'all think? I'm going to cut off the access because I don't want it too long and too dangly. So I'm just going to cut the access because I don't want them to be too long. That's just too much hair for me. And I got this hairstyle just so I won't have to do too much. So you see me, I'm just cutting the, the bottoms like this. I don't want it to be too much. All right, that's good. Don't want to do it too much. Okay. There you go. So, we got hair done, lashes done, eyebrows done, nails done, and I think we got everything done.
to wrap that is everything on the get ready with me video like comment and subscribe see you in the next video